Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's topic is about uh, blood pressure and blood pressure measurement at home. So most of these uh, doctors today, they advise you to take uh, blood pressure, sugar measurement, blood sugar measurement at home for monitoring. So while it's good for uh, us to monitor at home, but there are mistakes which we do, right? Uh, in this video, we are going to talk about there are 11 mistakes which people do when they are taking the blood pressure measurement at home. Actually, doctor tell you not to make this mistake, but we still are going to make these mistakes, uh, which is, can uh, give us artificially wrong numbers uh, in the blood pressure, uh, which may lead to wrong diagnosis and wrong medication. If you are given artificially wrong numbers that is high, you may be diagnosed uh, or be concerned that you have a high blood pressure or when you actually you don't really have that high blood pressure meant. So this can lead to a, a big mistake on your health because of wrong medication. So let us jump right into and get into uh, the number one mistake what people usually make. Keep watching this video completely guys to understand uh, blood pressure measurement, accurate accuracy for your own good health. Do not skip this, uh, do not make mistakes, okay? It's important that you understand the impact of uh, the mistakes what we make. The number one mistake uh, what we may normally make when we are measuring the blood pressure is the arm full cover clothing. That means uh, we are supposed to keep uh, measuring the uh, blood pressure at the arm but uh, uh, we have the cloth already covered. So we should not uh, keep your uh, blood pressure meant on the uh, dress what we already have. So we should always do it on the bare skin. It is supposed to be on your skin. If you do it over your clothing, it can give you an artificially higher number somewhere in neighborhood of 10 to 20 points. That's a big deal guys. Okay, never make the mistake of putting the uh, measurement on the dress what you already wear. It could be t-shirt or it could be an uh, banana or it could be a full arm shirt. So please make sure that it is on the skin. Second mistake, uh, your arm has to be at the heart level. Okay, always make sure that uh, it is at the heart level. Uh, so you should keep like this and you should start measuring at the heart level. If you are taking blood pressure at your arm level, uh, lying down, uh, the cough could be lower while your heart is higher. What you want to do is place it where you can raise your arm just little bit and rest uh, it so your elbow is supported. Sometimes even at the doctor's offices, they will take your blood pressure with your arm dangling which can give you artificial number. Please don't allow your arm to dangle uh, and don't end up in wrong number. Keep watching my video completely guys. There are more uh, points to come. Uh, completely read the video and uh, give me uh, comments whatever you have or concerns what you have on my observations. So the uh, mistake number three is the blood pressure cough is too tight. When you put it on, how do you know how tight it is? Too loose is if you can get your whole hand in the cuff whole hand in the cuff when you are tighten it when you tighten it if there is a little mark that says artery artery that mark has to be on the inside part of the arm you want to tighten it so you can get two fingers in in between your skin and the cuff okay make sure that when you are measuring uh, you know, there is a two fingers which can go three or four finger is too loose okay don't make sure don't uh, make three or four fingers to go guys you can keep two fingers to go so don't make it too tight or too loose no um, no fingers means it is too tight if there is too tight then the reading will be artificially high okay the the number fourth mistake guys is on the true definition of high blood pressure which is uh, the hypertension uh, is abnormally high. Uh, hypertension is abnormally high when the blood pressure is at the uh, 
uh, rest. That means you are supposed to measure when you are body is at rest. So don't may take the measurement uh, as soon as you climb the staircase or when you are stressed. Okay, don't make this mistake. If, uh, for example, if you have gone for a walking in the morning, uh, two three kilometer, and you come back, sit in your sofa, take rest for ten minutes, and then start taking the measurement. Because when you come from the walking, or if you are in a duplex house when you are climbing the staircase, uh, you would have stressed. So make sure you are not stressed and you are not uh, heavily uh, under pressure with few things in your mind. Many times, doctor office check your right uh, blood pressure right away when you are rushed or stressed, which is also wrong. Even in the hospital, many cases, many doctors they do it. They will tell you to wait. Five minutes and then take the measurement. But few doctors' hospital also make the same mistake. The proper way is to rest at least five to ten minutes before the testing. If not, ask the nurse or a few uh, ask the nurse for a few minute uh, time for relaxation before the measurement. Even in the hospital, you should make sure tell the nurse or the uh, the doctor who are uh, on duty to. Uh, give you some time for taking rest. Number five is a mistake is a full bladder uh, can increase your blood pressure numbers. So number fifth mistake is when you have full bladder full, uh, you can make your bladder is full. It may stimulate your sympathetic nerve system, rising your pressure. Uh, make sure they uh, to empty your bladder before testing. So very important, guys. So if you are uh, bladder is full and if you are in urgency for peeing complete that complete your uh, bladder before your blood pressure measurement sixth mistake is about your legs are crossed so please make sure that your legs are straight and do not keep your legs crossed if your legs are crossed it can artificially increase your blood pressure keep your feet flat on the floor in a relaxed position, even do not keep your toes uh, raised from the floor. Keep your foot completely on the floor, guys. So continue to watch this uh, video, guys. Uh, we are talking about the seventh mistake. Mm, please do not take measurement immediately after the caffeine or food in your stomach. Uh, as soon as you add coffee, if you do not go for blood pressure measurement. Or as soon as you have your meal, uh, stomach full, do not measure the blood pressure. Sometimes by 20 or 40 points, the measurement may go up and it can affect uh, significantly. Uh, so even if so, even after the meal, it, you have to wait for a couple of hours. Even if you cannot offset caffeine effects, make sure your stomach is empty. Do not go with your complete uh, stomach full. Uh, for blood pressure measurement at least minimum leave two to three hours before the doctor appointment or when you are taking blood pressure measurement at home our eighth mistake is using a wrong arm standard practice is the left arm so very interesting guys so do not take the measurement on your right arm you should always take on the left arm the right arm may sometimes be used if surgery uh, lymph node issues or but the standard method is the left arm. So make sure for the accurate measurement, you always take the measurement on the left arm, not on the right hand, uh, right arm. Number ninth mistake, using a wrist monitor instead of a standard arm cloth. Okay, do not use the, uh, the wrist monitor, um, blood pressure monitors. Uh, the, though they can give you a ballpark reading, uh, they are often used for dental office or very convenient. Please do not use the um, other blood pressure instruments. Uh, so, but uh, the gold standard remains with the arm cuff after resting. Uh, the uh, number 10th mistake is about uh, talking during the measurement. Please guys do not talk during the uh, measurement if you are talking and taking the measurement while you are talking 
the cough is inflating your numbers will be inaccurate even when you are talking we do not know whether you are tensed or you are arguing or fighting with somebody or uh, so do not again do this while you are talking to somebody uh, with a mobile phone on your hand uh, we never know the uh, situation you are in while you are taking the measurement so that's the reason do not take the measurement when you are uh, talking okay uh, so basically you should be resting and uh, the reading should be very accurate the last one the number 11 relying on a single reading okay please do not take only one reading uh, always take two to three readings many of the instrument wants you to take three readings uh, and many cases they are high at uh, uh, first uh, time sometimes it could be very high in the morning and when you are uh, resting it could be okay and uh, so it's always better to take two three readings uh, for good diagnosis doctor should look at the average over a period uh, if anyone test is taken and medicine is prescribed that is a wrong mistake the people can take only one reading and then if the person is not rested or if he had a food or if he had a caffeine we have talked about all the mistakes so then the readings could go wrong and doctor could prescribe you a medicine so there are some patients who are also uh, having a problem with white, white coat syndrome uh, they may be their blood pressures may go up when they see a doctor so make sure the person is comfortable and take the measurement and ensure that the treatment starts only when the readings are accurate based on the average of several readings if you found this video helpful give thumbs up guys and subscribe to my channel for more updates and healthcare so take care of your health guys and make sure you do not make this mistake uh, 11 mistake which we talked about on your uh, hypertension blood pressure measurement at home or even at the uh, doctor's office or even at the nursing homes uh, like share and subscribe to my channel guys thank you thank you for reading uh, reading and uh, subscribing to my channel uh, please leave your comments